Over the years, the game of basketball has produced some beautiful, iconic baskets. And today, I'll be recreating one for every letter of the alphabet. Starting with the letter A, Yas attempted Kumpo's crazy dunk in the finals versus the Suns. And my first couple attempts were no good. But could I do it on my third try? Keep going to the rack, Giannis! Thank you! Giannis attempted Kumpo, two-hand dunk! Puts it in. Now that basket was pretty easy, but from this point on, I only have five attempts to recreate each play. And each time I fail to recreate a basket, I have to add a disgusting ingredient to this smoothie I'll be drinking at the end of the video. And next up we have B, which is Kobe Bryant's iconic game-winning shot in the playoffs. I don't know how I'm gonna recreate this. Okay, so we have 6.8 seconds left. This is set up perfectly for this. Kobe Bryant, we have the ball, so we're gonna go up slowly. Go to the corner of the free throw, Kobe Bryant! I whited it! On my second attempt, we'd make it, but there would still be time left. Leading to my third attempt. Go down towards the free throw line, Kobe Bryant! It's green, and it's at the buzzer! Thank you! Now that was crazy from Kobe, but coming up, we have some even more insane game winners to recreate. Moving on to letter C, it's time for Stephen Curry's shot versus France in the Olympics. An insane step back to pretty much seal them the game. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this in five attempts. Okay, so if you look at the play properly, Steph has the ball. He passes, so his dope team actually works. We get the ball back. Steph Curry behind the back to a step back. Steph Curry to White anyways and missed. Our second attempt, we'd cook this up. Three seconds on the clock. Step it back. Steph Curry is greeting it, but that was way too close. This will lead to another miss with my fourth attempt up, and Steph was locked. Behind the back, and then we just gotta do a deep step back. Step Curry is so green! Stephen Curry puts it in versus France from D. I think that looked pretty one to one. Next up, we have the letter D, which is Kevin Durant's dagger in the finals right over LeBron James. All right, so Kevin Durant, we have our first attempt here. We have 10 seconds left. We just gotta pull up with the shot. That's a green, but this also on Kevin Love. I need it to be on LeBron. And on my second attempt, we had LeBron on us. Honest Kevin Durant, that's a green. Part of the reason why it's so iconic is because it's over LeBron, so that had to be done. That basket may have been easy, but coming up the baskets get so much harder. Moving on to letter E for Anthony Edwards dunk over John Collins. I think everybody has seen this dunk. And on my first attempt, we go up, but get a two-handed slam. That's a two-handed dunk. Okay, give it back to him. Anthony Edwards, full head of steam. That's not even a dunk. On my third attempt, I got a crazy dunk, but not what I needed. Left hand, that's nasty, but that's not what I need. Edwards, that's not a poster. This all came down to my last attempt to save my smooth. Wait to the paint. On John Collins! On John Collins, too! Perfect one handed hammer on John Collins. And he fell down too. Now we're looking to go even faster with Derek Fisher's game winning shot with 0.4 seconds left. I don't even know if this is possible. Okay, first attempt, we have 0.7 seconds left. I'm gonna try to be as accurate as possible. So Kobe comes up, Fisher goes down, ball to Fisher. Fisher puts it up, Fisher puts it in. Does that count? Cause that was perfect. But unfortunately we would not get it off in time. Oh, it's still on his hands. It's still on his hands. Fisher, another one. Win, that's a good looking shot, and it misses. Going this time with our third attempt, Sauce making it again. Bang! Does that, that has to count! This doesn't count again, this doesn't count again, bro. And finally on our fourth attempt, this happened. Put it up, that looks good! He puts it in, but does it count? Here, replay with me right now. It counted, it counted, thank you! Derek Fisher's game winner is finally recreated. Next up, we have the letter G, and boy, do we have a play. Blake Griffin's dunk on Kendrick Perkins. One of the best dunks I've ever seen. So Blake, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is all about the animation. Blake Griffin going all the way to the rack. On the second attempt, we did this. Blake Griffin to the rack. If you put it side by side, that wasn't bad, but it's not good enough. All the way to the basket. I can't count that though. Blake Griffin all the way to the rack. This will lead again to our last attempt, trying to keep the smoothie clean. All the way to the basket, Blake Griffin! That was it! That was it! He held Kendrick Perkins! That was it! We are on fire right now, and it's only gonna get harder. With the letter H being James Harden's crossover stare down three pointer, where he broke his ankles. And my first try wasn't far off. Frag it back with a snatch back, James Harden, that's a green. But I need him to fall. I think this is on Terrence Mann, right? Snatch it back. That's another three. That one's green again, too. On my third attempt, we got an ankle breaker, but it was a white. 
Shoot! He's on a green low! With my fourth attempt being another miss, we had one more shot for my smoothie. Snatch back! That's an ankle breaker! He didn't fall down the white green did too! So Harden couldn't get that done, which means that's our first fail. The hot sauce is going in. No, oh, man. It's on the bananas and everything. This is already ruined. Now moving on to letter I for Iconic, we have Kyrie Irving's game seven shot versus the Warriors. Everybody knows this shot. On the first attempt, we got a good look. Now we got a side step it. Kyrie Irving, it's not a green. All right, we already got our screen. Just got the lights of Steph. Side step him. Kyrie Irving, that was perfect. I didn't green it, I didn't green it. But you know. Kyrie was going to come in clutch. I'd step Kyrie for three. That's green. That's good. Thank you, Kyrie Irving. His iconic game seven shot versus the Warriors is recreated. Next up is the letter J, which is Michael Jordan's iconic game winner in the playoffs versus the Cavaliers. We're going all the way back to the nice with this one. Jordan, you gotta go all the way to the top of the key now. MJD fadeaway, it's green. I think that was a little too far though. With that attempt being too far, we'd run it back and get this. Free throw line, Michael Jordan with the fadeaway at the buzzer. That one was directly like his game winning shot and it was over Craig Gila. That one was a perfect recreation. Now if you thought that was easy, buckle up because we're only getting harder with Kawhi Leonard's game winning shot in the playoffs where it bounced what it seemed like 500 times on the rim and then it went in. Kawhi Leonard, we got four seconds left. This is perfect. Kawhi Leonard to the corner. Puts it up and misses. Top of the key, get it. All right, so the same thing. All the way to the corner. Pull up, that's green. And it rolls around a bunch of times. Dude, I don't think I can count that because it didn't bounce. I needed to at least bounce once or twice. All the way to the corner. For the win, Kawhi, that's the white. Okay. And on my fourth attempt, Kawhi got the last lap. Jimmy Butler, Kawhi Leonard, it bounces, it bounces in! Kawhi Leonard, with the most bouncy game-winning shot I've ever seen in my life, is recreated. I did not think we were going to be able to do that. Next up, we have letter L for Lillard's game-winning shot at damn near half court over the Thunder. This shot, like Kawhi Leonard's, was seen all over the world. On my first attempt, we put up this. Step it to the side. Damian Lillard, that's a white. Size him up. Sidestep, Lillard, that's so deep. Like, I can make a white. I doubt I'm gonna make one from half court. My third and fourth attempts would also be no good. I need three! Leading to my last attempt to save my smoothie from the pickles. Lillard, run deep, it's green, come on, baby! That's his game winner from damn near half court over the thunder, come on! And next up, we have the letter M, which is Tracy McGrady's insane dunk over Sean Bradley, who's seven foot four, by the way. All you have to do is just posterize a ginormous white man. Go baseline, Tracy McGrady all the way to the basket! And on my second attempt, McGrady got locked up. The third attempt will be good, but would it be on anyone? I just need to do that on Sean Bradley and I'll be good. Leading to our fourth attempt with McGrady dropping the hammer. Tracy McGrady! Tracy McGrady with the hammer! All over Sean Bradley. Now my smoothie's doing pretty good, but that all might change now. With the next letter being N, which is this crazy game winning shot from Nikola Jokic against the Warriors. All right, so basically I have to just get the ball right up beside the Chase Center logo and pull it not a jump shot though. So we'd go again for our second attempt, but Jokic messed it up. Pulling up, why are you shooting at one leg? Why do you, what are you doing? Moving on to my third attempt. Could Jokic make it? Thank you, Jokic, that's a green! And that's at the buzzer! Nikola Jokic's insane game winner has been recreated. Which brings us right into the letter O. Shaquille O'Neal's humiliating poster dunk, where he not just dunked on him, but pushed him down. So we give it down a little shot. We have to just post up this poor white man. Drop step him, dunk it. I need to dunk on somebody. Feeding Shaq for the second attempt. He was too strong for his own good. And on attempt number three, we almost had him. Post him up, drop step him, posterize. Not, that's not ah, properly. Hit him with the drop step, posterize. That's not the right thing. Could Shaq come and clutch on our last attempt? Drop step him. Put it up and in! But the thing is, Shaq never pump faked when he did this play. So unfortunately, I can't count this. Which leads us into the next ingredient for my smoothie being pickles. Thank you. I, okay, it literally just spilled on my laptop. Oh, that smells wretched. Okay, let's bounce back with the letter P, which is Paul George's iconic dunk over the Miami Heat, where he posterized the Birdman. And right away, I knew Paul George was capable of doing this. 
Go all the way to the basket. That's not a bad first attempt. Moving on to my second attempt with Paul George doing this. To the basket! That is it! On the second attempt, Paul George crosses over, goes all the way to the paint for an absolute behemoth of a dunk. Now, I may have made that look easy, but what comes next is extremely hard. We have Q for Quincy Pondexter. Honestly, don't even know how he made this. All right, my first attempt, and we don't even have the right positioning. Quincy Pondexter putting it up. It's not even close. The thing about this is it's all RNG. I have no control over this. It's not in and out. But on my third attempt, Pondexter would shock me. Put it up! Quincy Pondex puts it in! Please, please tell me that counted. Unfortunately, it would not be off in time. Didn't, that didn't count? Bro. Oh. Leading to our fourth attempt missing, giving us one last chance for my smoothie. Why are you shooting a jump shot? Why did you shoot a normal jump shot? That was never gonna go in. Which you know means we add another ingredient. Alfredo sauce. Like, this is horrendous. Is it Alfredo sauce, bro? That is so much too. Why did I pour that much? Okay, we need a little bit of a comeback here. And the next letter we have is R for Russell Westbrook's game winner when he got the triple-double record against the Denver Nuggets. In my opinion, his best game ever. Which means we have to do the full thing, which means going down and coming up with Westbrook. Panning on Steven Adams, where is Westbrook going? Dude, where did Westbrook go? Knowing how to fix that, my second attempt would be a perfect recreation. Back to Westbrook! Westbrook pull it! Westbrook green! That is perfect! That is a picture perfect recreation of Westbrook's game winner. Now moving on to S, it only gets harder as we have to do Scotty Pippen's dunk on Patrick Ewing when he also pushed him down. Similar to Shaq. Pippen, we gotta just go all the way to the rack. Scotty Pippen! That is the dunk I need. I just need it on somebody. On my second attempt, we dunk, but nobody would be there. Okay, give it back to Scotty. Scotty, come on! Scotty! Dying the computer in the paint. This will lead to a crazy fourth attempt. The paint. The only problem with that is we got stopped like two times, but that was a nasty poster. And once again, it all came down to our last attempt. To the basket. Poster rises of any falls. Come on. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. That is super accurate, especially the way he fell to. And next up is T, another iconic dunk, this time from Jason Tatum over LeBron James. Tatum on his first attempt would show some potential. To the basket, has to be on LeBron. So on my second attempt, we get a nasty poster. Only to the basket, leading to our third attempt, doing this. All the way with a nasty poster on LeBron. Only thing was LeBron didn't fall anything like that, so I'm not, I'm not gonna take that. Back to Tatum the rack. He's down low with the paint. LeBron gets poster. Thank you, Jason Tatum. That side-by-side -side looked exactly like Jason Tatum's dunk in real life. Crispy. Now, if you thought that basket wasn't that bad, the next one we have is. It's Tyler Eulis' game-winning shot off a steal into a step-back three-point. Here's the thing, guys. We have to get a steal here. Here's one. So we just have to steal it. See, that's the thing. We have to steal it, then pass it to him for a step back. And on my second attempt, we yet again could not get a steal. How was that not a steal, Tyler Eulis? Where are the steals? So on my third and fourth attempt, I tried to put on more pressure, but it still wasn't working. With literally anybody! On my fifth and final attempt, the CPU did the impossible. Please, man. Hey. Oh, and he made it! game is asking me to put more ingredients in my smoothie. That means up next, we have the spam. It's so gross though. Spam. Look at that. Now we're gonna have to bounce back in the hardest way possible. With the letter B being Vince Carter's dunk over somebody in the Olympics. This might be the hardest basket in the whole video. So you're telling me I just lost a challenge and now I have to jump over somebody. Vince, all the way. On my second attempt, could Vince do it? Vince, Vince Carter going all the way to the to the basket, dude. He almost did it there. He actually almost did it there over Victor Wembanyama. That would have been the best player of my 2K career if he dunked over Wemby. Dare I say, is it possible? Vince Carter all the way to the basket. On my fourth attempt, we get the right dunk, just not over him. I just need that dunk over him. Leading to my last attempt for my smoothie. Full head of steam, all the way to the basket, man. Another fail, back to back fails. Oh, no, nah, this is bad. Bro, we have. I'm about to crash up. This is sardines, and it just spilled everywhere, my whole room. Do you see that? 
Now moving on to W, I need to recreate this Wade Dunk, posterizing Anderson Verishow. So first attempt, I would love to do it on my first attempt. Dwayne Wade, all the way to the basket. Nasty dunk. Dwayne Wade, go to the basket, come on. Dwayne Wade, posterize him. I need it with the right hand. And on my third attempt with a full head of steam, Wade did this. So, Anderson Bayer shall be in the pit. Yes! Dwayne Wade, posterizing Anderson Bayer shall, making him fall on the ground. I'm safe on the ingredients for now. Next up for X, we had this Xavier Henry dunk, an insane left-handed poster. And our first attempt was really good. Three left-handed hammer. I could honestly count that. I think I can get better though. It would only take two attempts for Xavier. Xavier Henry all the way to the basket. That is what I'm talking about. Rising up all the way for the left-handed hammer. You gotta love that. And that brings us on to the next letter being Y. Trey Young's sidestep three-pointer to win them the game in the playoffs versus the Celtics. We just have to make sure we go back court. We're out for a three-pointer and we didn't even go back court. That was the one thing I had to do. On our second attempt, we'd shoot it from too far. And with our third attempt being the opposite, the fourth one was perfect. Put it up, put it in. Thank you, Trey Young. That is the game winner from deep. Puts it in against the Boston Celtics. And for the very last letter in the alphabet being Z, we have Zion Williamson's first poster in the NBA. A nasty hammer. And I'm gonna need to make this or else the sausages are going in my smoothie. So Zion looked to end it right away. Your right-handed hammer! We just missed it! We literally just missed it. Zion, go all the way to the basket. Ah, that's not it. But on my third attempt, Zion would do this. All the way to the basket, right-handed poster! Zion Williamson, first ever NBA poster, recreated. Okay, so we stay safe from the sausages being added in, but that doesn't mean we don't have to drink all of this. I got the smoothie here. Please subscribe, guys. This is... Check out this video right here. Oh, that's so disgusting. That's so disgusting. Please subscribe.